Um. Uh. Hello. Um. Hi. This is like. This is Scott. Um. Like Scott Kellerman. Like Jeremy's um. Um. Nephew. Uh. This is um like a new segment that we're putting on Jeremy's like YouTube channel or whatever. And it's like a segment where I get to talk about things that are like important and deep and meaningful and you know stuff that you're too like stupid to think about because you're not like deep and meaningful like I am because I've taken like you know literary theory classes and I you know think about stuff. Um, and anyway, this is this is going to be called um, Scott's Thoughts. Because it rhymes and, you know, it's clever and you're, you know, you're not smart enough to think of something like that. You know, I bet you you wouldn't think of that if you, like, I don't know, took a lot of, like, creativity drugs or something. Anyway, um, this, you know, during this, like, Scott's Thoughts thing, I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff that's, like, really important, but that, like, nobody else ever talks about. I mean, like, I don't know if people just are too stupid to, like, think about these things, or if they're, like, too stupid to care about thinking about them. I don't know. All I know is that people don't think about this stuff that I think about, and that's stupid. Okay. So... In this, like, first inaugural preliminary episode of Scott's Thoughts, I'm going to be talking about one of the worst injustices that, like, ever happened. Like, ever. Okay? And it's something that happened, like, in 1990, and I'm still really mad about it. So, okay. Okay, what this was... Um, was, like, you know, the the Jetsons, right? I mean, like, the Hanna-Barbera classic animation. I mean, you know, it's like a national icon, right? The Jetsons, you know, it's all about, like, dreaming of, like, the future and what the future can be. And, I mean, like, I could do, like, a whole episode of Scott's thoughts on, like, how flying cars should have existed by now and how they don't. I mean, that just makes me, like, want to, like, just beat up, you know, scientists for being, like, stupid and, like, lazy. But, you know, that's a whole different episode. I'm not complaining about the lack of, like, catching up with the Jetsons that the world has done. What I'm here to talk about is in 1990, they made the Jetsons movie, and, you know... I can remember, like, being really little and, like, going to the theater and, like, watching this movie and being like, oh, my sweet, good, go I mean, my lord, you know, my, my lord, this is going to be, like, the best, the best thing. Shut up! Shut up! Sorry about that, it's my stupid neighbors who don't think about stuff that's important. Okay. Um, alright, so... What happened was, they made this Jetsons movie, and, like, you know, everybody was like, oh, man, this is gonna be the awesomest movie. It's like the Jetsons in a movie. I mean, how can you do any better, you know? They're like an American treasure. And this movie is just gonna, like, blow our brains out of the water. That's, you know, because they're, like, floating, like, bath toys or turds. And, uh, so, they made this Jetsons movie, and it had, like... Pretty much all the original cast, except for, like, um, Dawes Butler or Don Messick or somebody. Somebody had died who played Elroy. I don't remember. No one cares. I mean, I care, but you don't because you're stupid and it's worth doing another episode about the fact that you don't care about who did the voice for Elroy. But that's, that's not the point right now. The point is, you know, they got, like, all the original cast back pretty much. And, you know, it was like George O'Hanlon, the voice of George Jetson, you know, American icon. It was his last role ever. And, you know, that should be, like, enough to make it, like, a historical movie that should be, like, preserved by, like, the American Historical Department. 
and you know had like and like Mel Blanc, like you know Mel Mel Blanc. I mean, think about that. Like it was one of his last roles. He was Bugs, freaking Bunny. He was like the whole freaking Looney Tunes people. You know that alone should be enough to make it like historically defensible. But you know, you know, you know, got all those guys back, got all those great voice actors and whatnot, got them all back for this this huge movie. And you know, I went in the theater and I was like, you know, three or something years old, and I'm like sitting in the theater. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Jetson's movie, Jetson's movie. And then you know, the cast starts talking, and you know, George is like, hey. Hey, Jane. And I'm like, oh, yeah, George O'Hanlon, what up? And, you know, Jane's like, oh, George. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, freaking Penny Singleton or something. Yes, yes. And then Judy Jetson opens her mouth. And Judy Jetson was not voiced by Janet Waldo. What the F? What the F? Janet Waldo is Judy Jetson. You do not recast Judy Jetson. Do you understand the significance, the historical significance of Janet Waldo as Judy Jetson? Think about it. I mean, you know, Janet Waldo is like, you know... She's a, she's a national, she's a national treasure. I mean, she was on I Love Lucy. How many people, you know, can you say were on I Love Lucy? Not a lot, but every single one of them was awesome because they were on I Love Lucy. Not, they didn't let everybody on that show. You had to have good qualities. You had to be the best at what you did. Understand that. And so, you know, I was watching this movie and I was like three years old and I was like, my, what is going on? What, where, who is this? This isn't Judy Jetson's voice I'm hearing. Who is this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you who it was. It was Tiffany. Let that soak in for a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe you're asking yourself, but Scott. Who's Tiffany? The answer is... No one knows! Okay, to be accurate in a completer sense, Tiffany was like a really like popular pop singer in like the late 80s and early 90s. And you know, I don't have anything against Tiffany, but I mean, she's not Judy Jetson. And you know... I'm sure she's a great singer or some crap. I don't know. I don't listen to her. But she's probably fine. But you know what? Just because somebody is this like flash in the pan, super popular singer, does not mean you cast her in a role replacing an American icon. You do not recast Janet Waldo. Judy Jetson is Janet Waldo! Understand it! Understand it! You know, you know, Janet Waldo is like I said, she is an she is like a national treasure. You know, she is, you know, Penelope Pitstop. Think about that! She was Penelope freaking pit stop and she even came back and played the role again when they made the wacky races game on the Sega Dreamcast and that game was awesome it was awesome and the thing about it is I mean you know she was like a like a consummate professional you know she cared about her like roles I mean you know she was Penelope pit stop on wacky races but then, they were like, oh, Janet, you know, your character's so popular, and you're so awesome. We want to make a solo show for Penelope Pitstop. We want you to have a starring role in a show called The Perils of Penelope Pitstop. We're bringing in the Ant Hill mob from the Wacky Races, and you know what? 
you know what? That's not even good enough. We're not just bringing back Penelope. We're not just bringing back the Ant Hill mob. We are going to bring in the best, like, comedy actor of this era. Mr. Paul Lind. He is going to play foil to you. I mean, do you know what kind of guts it takes to go up against Paul Lind? Paul Lind was a genius! A comedy genius! And she was like, I don't care. I'm Janet Waldo. I'm awesome. I'm going to do it. Because I'm doing it for the people! Because that's who she is for! Janet Waldo is the voice of the, of the people! She's the voice of my generation! You know? And she didn't care. She's like, sure, I want to make I want to make the kids happy. I want to make the people happy. I will play Penelope Pitstop again because that is just how awesome I am. And you know, you know, you'd think someone like that, you know, years down the line would get a little respect. But no, we're going to make a Jetsons movie. And we're going to hire her and she recorded all the lines. She recorded all the lines for the Jetsons movie, and they just like said, oh, screw it. We don't care that we have this like historically memorable Janet Waldo performance on tape or whatever right here. No, we're going to throw it out. We are going to throw out her performance, and we're going to put Tiffany over top of the character. We're going to let Tiffany re-record the character! I mean, what is the name of all that is holy? You morons in suits should get your face slapped by posterity! Janet Waldo is an iconic national treasure! And you should be ashamed, whoever it was! Whoever it was that made that decision that was like, Oh, 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 Janet Waldo's not marketable enough. We're going to cast Tiffany because Tiffany's so popular and her popularity will last forever. Whoever's decision that was, if you are listening to this right now, and you better be, I want you to first apologize to me. I want you to say, Scott Killerman. I am sorry that I was such a great A idiot! And I'm sorry that I ruined your childhood! And then, more importantly, I want you to say, Janet Waldo, I'm sorry that I am the stupidest, most greedy idiot to ever live! I want you to make that apology right now! Do it! Ow! Anyway, so that's like some real bull crap. And that really like, just freaking rags my junk. It just really makes me upset. I mean, Janet Waldo just deserves better than that. And so, yeah, that was the first episode of Scott's Thoughts. I hope you found it enlightening as you should have unless you're too stupid to appreciate how like profound it was so anyway thanks for listening or something i shut up all right i'm gonna like stop recording now because i'm like getting really hungry i'm gonna go get like a, a jolly rancher or something so stop being stupid and um like Stick around for the next, like, instant classic that is Scott's Thoughts. Goodbye.